So my name's Joe Quinn, I'm the principal at St Augustine's Primary School. I've been principal at St Augustine's since 2008, so 13 years, and it's a wonderful learning community of about 330 students, and we're really pleased to be part of this community. So St Augustine's has spent the last 13 years, through our master planning, redeveloping custom learning based facilities. So our classrooms are designed specifically to allow for collaboration across classes. So teachers can be working with teachers, students can be working with students. And we have the ability for students to work uh, individually in their own classroom setting, but also across a number of classes in each learning centre. Each learning centre is designed with uh, an explicit teaching area, but also then breakout areas so students can then work in small groups, work with learning support officers, work with our plus one teachers in different parts of the classroom. St Augustine's got a really strong focus on our literacy and this has been a huge development in the school over the last five years. Teachers use the explicit direct instruction model to ensure that we're teaching students the sounds that letters make, the names of letters, and then how those letters work together so that we can build up our voc vocabulary right from the foundation year level. We have a strong focus on literacy and numeracy in our morning learning blocks, and they are covered every day of the week, right from foundation through to year six. For the foundation students, our term one focus is really learning about learning. So we have a strong focus around how we interact with each other in the classroom, how we structure up our learning, and we see tremendous growth in the students once they have those foundations around learning about learning that they can then focus on their literacy and numeracy. So by the time they commence foundation in February right through till December their exit, we see tremendous growth in their learning. The numeracy in our classroom focuses again through explicit direct instruction model where the teacher directly teaches the numeracy skills then does it with the students, and then we have some time where the students do that independently. The numeracy is taught daily. Uh, we work on the working memory of students as well, so that we know when we need to follow up a concept within the next day, or the next three days, or the next two weeks. St Augustine's has 14 classes, and we have 14 classroom teachers, but on top of that, we have a plus one teacher for each unit. For every four teachers, we employ a fifth teacher. We have a strong focus on professional learning for our teachers. The plus one teacher who plays a leading of the learning role within each team uh, is, enables us to make sure that we're up to date with the professional learning for all of our staff, that we're meeting the needs of students' individual learning plans, and that we're contemporary with our learning and our professional pedagogy. On top of the plus one teachers in each unit, we also uh, rely heavily on our learning support officers. So in each unit we have two learning support officers and they work collaboratively planning with the teachers but also delivering the differentiated curriculum in small groups with individual needs, small group needs or supporting in a roving role through the whole classroom. One of the great gifts of our team is how each unit works within a team. Teachers plan together, they work together, they review together and by the nature of the way that we learn at St Augustine's they have to be engaged with each other. We have such difference and variety from early career teachers to very experienced teachers. So we're blessed with the culture that we have in our learning within the school and the students feel this. They pick up that vibe in the classroom, if you like, of how we're getting along and working together. So while St Augustine's has a strong focus on literacy and numeracy, we offer so much more to develop the whole person and the whole child. We have other specialist subjects and they focus on the arts, on music, on library, and our languages program is French. We also are blessed with St Augustine's Church on our site, and so we have weekly liturgy or mass with our priests, and our faith education is really important to us throughout every day of the week. We have a strong focus on prayer, but also a strong focus on social justice and how our students can be great citizens in the Wodonga and global community. St Augustine's has a terrific uh, playground facility and we're really blessed with the, the spaces that we have for our children to be in their breaks. To support students that have difficulty engaging in social play, we also ask our learning support officers to have organised games and activities to engage those stu students who might, might need encouragement to join other groups socially, to um, develop their personal interaction skills and also just to have fun during the breaks as well. 
So in the playground we see students playing their normal ball games and rough and tumble games on the playground, but we also see passive play. We see students in the library playing board games or doing craft or more um, calming activities for those students who need that. So we see great variety in the play and different interaction for all the different needs that we have as people. Learning happens inside the classrooms and outside the classrooms at St Augustine's and we hope that those children take those skills home into their own personal lives. We also have a strong focus on inclusion, so we provide differentiated learning for students with particular needs. We provide personalised learning programs for those students as well. And our inclusion extends to the playground social coaching and the playground activities for all students to engage fully while they're at St Augustine's during the day. At St Augustine's we have a strong focus on community support. Many of our students in our 3-4 area are engaged in programs such as Meals on Wheels. To also build the community spirit and the relationship across all our year levels, we have a buddy program where our Year 6 students are buddied with our Foundation students. The Year 6 has spent a lot of time with the Foundation students, welcoming them to school, interacting with them, sitting and eating lunch with them. And then as the Foundation students become more confident, we withdraw some of that connectivity to build the students' independence. St Augustine's Catholic Education is based on a program, The Source of Life. The religious education is taught daily across the year levels from foundation through to year six. We also have connection with our parish through involvement in liturgy and mass at our St Augustine's Church. And our faith-based program is not so much learning about curriculum and the religious education program, it's about who we are and how we are with each other. So when families are choosing a school, St Augustine's is the place that you'll find a strong focus on learning and teaching, a strong focus on staff working together to meet the individual needs of every student, to develop the whole child. You'll also feel that you're part of a place that has a strong history and tradition of learning and where parents are welcome, parents have a strong community and parents can contribute to your child's growth and development alongside the school and the teachers. Uh, we want you to come and have a look through St Augustine's and you'll understand more what I'm talking about. You'll understand the feel, you'll understand the community, you'll understand the culture of our school and we want you to be part of that school so that you can enjoy that education that we offer at St Augustine's.